Listen, if we go fast A, they will rotate from B. I think we just fake A and we Yeah, maybe B. we fake. I, I will go B with chamber. You guys fake, okay? Just drone, <laughs> then a flash, wall. But... If we get... Huh? We need to get one kill on A and then they will rotate easy. Yeah, but then you need to push in. Right now, that's your job. Yes, but I need server to drone. Of course. Because they have op. Drone. Drone. We have to go for main B. Jet. Yeah. Jet, Shut you up. wanted to go B. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, man! I get the kill! Holy shit! Hey, flight! Nice, nice, shield, shield, shield! You can freeze, you can freeze, you can freeze, you can freeze, 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 freeze. I'm planting. One more, one more. Now. Operator CT. He's fucking calling to go B. Plan, bro? The guy literally says, we go B. Jet, listen to me. You are telling me to play fake uh, to, to play second tempo b and you go elbow and you don't do what you want to do what you tell us to do like do you but do you understand that you're griefing the round they fake a we need to go b you can't go elbow listen to me there was one guy here no i'm not gonna fucking listen to him to show you guys why i'm upset why i'm upset in this round uh which one was that yeah this one look the entire strat right the entire strat was that we fake going A and two of us with the spike go B. If the second player, because I had the spike, right? And I was going B. If the second player goes fucking elbow, right? When they make the fake, then I don't have the backup that I need on site and I can lose the spike alone, right? And they can only make a fake once. After that, it's done. After that, it's done. Like we can't do anything if they make that fake and we didn't plant on B. Like, the round is lost. That's it. Right? And when the jet calls that, and then goes, look look where she went. She went elbow. Look at B-side. There's no one B-side, because there's already fake. Those people rotated. So there's a higher chance that someone will be mid than B. If we just go B-side, plant, we have 5 v fucking 0 essentially, right? Because no one died. And it's we have post-plant, and they need to rotate 20 seconds. We still have flanks. But if the guy goes elbow and dies like this, then I have to risk going on B with no backup, with no trades. I have to plant. And if there's someone there and kills me, he can defuse the spike before anyone else is there. This is why I'm upset. The guy calls a fucking strat that has only one possibility of, of success and does something to nullify that success. That's, that's what I'm upset about. Like, those are the biggest problems that people just don't understand. Your decision making has a butterfly effect. And people don't understand that. They think like... Oh, whatever, I died, but I pushed here, it has no meaning, you know? He won anyway. I think he wanted that strat call so he could flank the rotator on mid, like the most ego duels do. No, I don't think he just understands what, what is the implication of his call. Because he called fake A, me and chamber go B. That was his call. That was literally his call, right? And then he does something that is not his call. That's the problem that I see, you know? I'm dueling Sova. If I if I lose this duel against Sova, we lose. Because I have no backup. Because the Sova already killed the jet. If I lose here, the round is lost. And then Reyna gets two kills on A. Because we already have like flankers. This is like super important. Right? We plant, but it's still like too far away. Look, I planted and look at the position of my teammates. It's not their fault, by the way. Right? That they are so far away. They have to rotate from A. Right? But it's already planted. So it's like. Those people can... <laughs> they could already fucking um, defuse the spike, essentially. Honestly, the strats and gameplay you explain and provide is mind-blowing. Helps a lot of noobs like me. My pleasure, my friend. Thank you for watching. We're going to see each other during the next video, which will be coming up soon. You know what to do. You, you, you can leave a comment and stuff like that. I'm not going to try to convince you. But if you would like to have a conversation with me, you can leave a comment. I will definitely answer.